Today I'm going to be taking the 911 double decker bus which is just coming in now. I think it's the only double decker bus that we have left in Shanghai. I might be wrong in saying that. There's a whole load of single deckers as well. It's currently going westwards and then hopefully it will turn around and then start going eastwards. Okay. Let's go upstairs. famous things that we can see from the 911 bus are these are the Normandy mansions uh, which were designed by Laszlo Hudek and then we've got the former residence of um, Sung Qingling just here a very famous person in Chinese society so yes this is a very famous building and it's um, it's used to be the backdrop of a lot of uh, photos that people take so yes, I'm being thrown off. It's the terminal stop. <laughs> that didn't quite work as planned. Now what I need to do is to find out where to pick up this bus on the other side of the road. I'm, I know why that's the terminal stop. The single deckers go a lot further on, on Huai Hai Lu and then Xin Hua Lu, because there's a lot of uh, low hanging trees. And so the double decker can't go as far as the single decker can. I call it the Normandy mansions, I think, but there you go. Normandy apartment and then it was renamed um, there you go look just a quick look inside it was then renamed Martyr's Tower and I think people now call it Wukong Mansion because it's on the corner of um, Wukong look so there goes my empty 911 double decker it will go along an extra junction or so and then it loops around and comes back along quite high Right, there is the Normandy Apartments. Oh dear. There's the uh, sign for the former residence of Sung Ching Ling. She was married to San Yat Sen and became very important in the uh, Communist Party looking after um, women's and children's rights. She was the patron of many schools and things like that. So there you go, a quick look in. There's the former residence. We won't go in today, but I have been in there before. And it says open from nine o'clock. It's a bit early. Now, you beat me to it, but if I rush, I can get the 911. Hey, 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 hey. Ooh. Thank you. Me again. This year. Whew. That was lucky. Now what I'm hoping is to get in the front of the bus and I haven't. I'll have to sit here. Yeah. So what we have here is the main Shanghai library. I used to think that it was the tallest library in the world. It's exactly 100 meters tall, but I think there might be taller ones now. You can see the flags are out for National Day. And there's the metro, that's line 10 that comes to the library. zone so this is the American Embassy we've got here the Iranian is just to the uh, to the left there and then we've got the, the French Embassy just here as we carry straight on to this is the junction with uh, Hong Shang Lu and uh, Hong Shu Lu and that might be another Laszlo Hudek building there I'm, I can't remember exactly that's quite a famous maternity hospital back there and then this is a this is a Peking Opera building that was completed only a, uh, a couple of years ago then we have one of the poshest malls in town you can see there's Gucci that's the IAPM mall which I guess is International Asia Pacific Mall 
Versace, Gucci, Apple, etc. So yeah, you can see we've got a, an avenue with the trees and uh, I guess the double-decker is having to stay in the, uh, the middle lane. You can see there's, the, there's a single-decker there. Around here, I think it might be just here, was the entrance to what used to be the, uh, the key club out here in Asia, but it's closed about two years ago. These trees do seem to pose a problem for the bus. You can see he doesn't want to move forward to go to the stop because of that tree there, so it's a bit of a logistics issue. You can see he's moving forward, but he wants to make sure that we've got a bit of a gap there. Quite a lot of famous brands along Pai Hai Loose. You can see Under Armour, there's Nike, there's a Adidas up ahead. There's a Sony store, or there was a Sony store around somewhere as well. that goes down off to Fuxing Park at the, uh, at the end there. And if we get through these lights, we are going underneath the north-south elevated road. There's a big junction over there. Further behind us is uh, where Shintandi is, which is the, uh, the site of the first meeting of the Chinese Communist Party. There's also the edge of People Square to our left or north of us. Now it's starting to get quite close to the Bund. That is the Yuyang Gardens metro stop, and Yuyang Gardens is, or Yu Gardens, uh, is, is over that way in the older part of town. Yuan means garden, so Yu Yuan, you're saying garden twice. There's the Pearl Tower and the Super Talls in the background. There's a sign for Shuliopu Ki, which is basically just means 16 number 16 key, that's where you can get a ferry across the Huangpu. There you can see just a tiny bit of traditional architecture going into the, uh, the Yu Gardens area. And some more problems. Okay, good, not too bad. This bus goes along Bai Hai Lu, which we've now left. I don't know where it goes next. Uh, I'll just along to the right. Quite a lot of bricked up building. Usually this means that they'll be uh, knocked down and redeveloped. side and the, the classic bund further up ahead uh, where I've done a video before of all of the historic buildings and this is our turnaround point. And we'll start to go back towards the uh, west. There's one of the single decker 911s. Ah this is the main Right, that's the terminal office. There you go, there's the rest of the bus upstairs, and hopefully the doors are still open. Yeah, not so many seats downstairs. 
and all the buses have it. All the buses have somewhere along their route one of these um, you know, terminal stops, usually at the end, of course. And you can see there's some sightseeing adverts as well. Usually it's a little place where they can sit and have a rest or a coffee or a break with the super talls in the background. There we go, we say bye bye to our double decker 911 bus and try and find the metro station closest to us which is the U Gardens uh, stop I strongly believe which is good because we picked up the uh, the bus at the Shanghai Library on line 10 so that's probably I think two stops on line 10 and we can be straight back this trip took me I think something like 40 minutes uh, basically to just go from one end of Bai Hai Lu to the other should actually add that I think 911 is the only numbered double-decker bus line here in Shanghai because we do indeed have some other double-decker buses of course uh, which is part of the traditional city bus tours routes and there's about three different companies this is a, one of the cheapest ones I've seen actually interesting I've never seen this park before it's saying something like an ancient tea room this way ah so that's the ancient tea room doesn't look open at the moment if it ever does yeah i think it opens at 10 o'clock ah this is Chung park across the road from the park this is a back entrance to u gardens uh, i didn't know this existed it's much smaller entrance there's a much larger one the other side uh, which you get to via the main uh, shopping area. I'm pretty sure it's this way to the metro. I was also not so aware of, of this place here. This is one of the old kind of traditional markets that uh, you don't see so many of nowadays. kept going up the escalators in that market and I'm quite glad that I did because this is a place that I have never been to before and you can see behind me there's many many tables of jade and other small artifacts managed to get to the roof of that market building here you can see the U Gardens area and where it remains relatively low rise and then there's the super tools again uh, over on the other side of the river okay let's go back through the market so there's the really busy market area I think that's the fourth floor on this building you can see wooden crafts jade all really quite interesting and there's even there's even people here you can see yeah look at that there's even people here just with their markets laid out on the floor That was uh, quite interesting. On floor two of this market building, we've got these more formal shops here. Again, doing some traditional work. So we can see some jade, some carving, but uh, a little bit more formal here. And across the road from that market, building there's another one here which is multi-floored you can see they're getting ready for getting ready for Halloween those were the new treasure house that was where that had more of the traditional stuff carving and jade and then this is the Fuyo Street Market and then U Gardens is off up this way this is inside some of the U Gardens place there's white white rabbit famous milky sweet of 
Shanghai. So we're not actually within the gardens, we're in the uh, shopping area. And there we go, some traditional tradesmen. Right. So there we bid farewell after an incredibly brief visit to Yu Yuan Gardens. It's all a little bit manufactured in there, so it's not my cup of tea. But we found the metro. From the skyscrapers of downtown, here we have the Line 10 Yu Yuan Garden. So Yu Garden Metro Station. As ever, I hope you enjoyed that rather brief trip on the double-decker bus 911 along Pai Hai Lu from around Xu Hui and the Shanghai Library over to the Kew Gardens area of the city. Anyway, please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.